growing up i've seen i saw how you and mommy were and mommy is a more outspoken <laughs> a lot of women are like that too they're more outspoken they're more um what would i call it they're more out there i don't want to say more dominating but okay. but when you got before you say one they've said ten mm-hmm. you know and you're a very quiet reserved you know speculative person how did you manage being married to such a woman without suppressing her because mommy has still been that way till today she's not oppressed she's not she didn't suppress her voice so how did you cope because some, a lot of men don't know how to manage such women they will see it as this woman is just a troublemaker or something i don't know how do you manage okay. it okay now when it comes to talking like i said the two of us cannot be talking at this same level otherwise, <laughs> <laughs> otherwise no person will listen the noise so, will be extra at, uh, so, Somebody has to be a very good listener. Mm-hmm. But, the, but the issue is now, is, is a definition of love. What is love? Love is a strong desire for another person's happiness. happiness yes. If I love you, I don't want to cage you or change you. Yeah. What I will do is, if I love you, I want to allow you to do those things that make you happy. happy yes. Because when you are happy, I'm happy. Mm-hmm. If you are sad, I'm sad. Yes. So why do I change the atmosphere in the house, house by trying to control you and make you a different somebody else? Yes. No. So I will allow you. But the only thing is that I believe I can change myself. Mm-hmm. You are an adult. If I try to change you, you already said. Mm-hmm. If I try to change you, I'll bend you, I'll break, break you. you yes. So rather than break you, I will change myself. Okay. To adapt to that. That's, yeah. It's simple because you cannot it's get, true. there's no perfect woman anywhere or a perfect mm-hmm. man anywhere. It's true. Mm. And it's true. I think I've realized that marriage is about adapting. Yes. Because even from my own marriage, there are so many things that my husband does now that I know that <laughs> If it was left to him, he would never do them. <laughs> and as many things I do now, I know that if it was left to me, I would never do them. Uh-huh. So I think we just adapt somehow. And that's, you that's know. part of responsibility. Yes. In marriage, mm-hmm. because you start with love, and responsibility takes over. Takes over. Yes. Do what you want to do in the house, but in the early marriage, there's what is called politics in the home. Mm. Who, you know, politics is a struggle for power. Who has the power to determine what? Yeah. Now in the home, a lot of politics comes in at the early stage. Who has the power to determine the, well, the color of the furniture, the color the furniture in the parlor, the, the mm-hmm. window curtains, mm. the televisions and the electronics in mm. the house, and how many children you are going to get, uh, and so on. So you discuss all those ones. But what I do in that case, how I handle that one is that if the husband is a good personnel manager, mm. you know, personnel management is about bringing the best of the employees. Yeah. If I discover that, like in, my, in our own case, my wife is more knows about fashion more than myself. Yeah. So she buys all my shirts, my yeah. trousers, and those, those of the children. Mm-hmm. Because if I go and buy it before I come back, <laughs> the moment she opens it, she will criticize it, and she will point out the fault. <laughs> because she knows more, mm-hmm. more, more, mm-hmm. More, than, more than me when mm-hmm. it comes to fashion. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to electronics, I mm-hmm. will determine which electronics should be there and so on. Yeah. Because you have to use somebody in his or her area of strength. strength yeah. So I know where my strength lies. I know where her strength lies. Mm-hmm. As far as I'm concerned, it doesn't matter who does it for the family, but we want the best. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I think that's, that's what you just said now is very important. Many people are always struggling about, is, is me, I must be the one to do it. You must be the one to do it. Mm-hmm. But I think people should focus more on, what is the goal? She we yeah. want we want everybody to dress well. Yeah. Whoever does it is fine. Yes. If I buy if I buy clothes <laughs> for myself, she will criticize it. Mm-hmm. And you know, men, mm-hmm. once you have one, two pairs of trousers, mm-hmm. one one black, one brown, mm-hmm. we don't even we are not interested in that, that you are flashy yellow, mm-hmm. <laughs> green, and so on and so forth. It's not for us. Then one black shoe, one brown shoe. Mm. Anytime you want to uh, go out, you don't need to struggle. At what, what do I wear? Mm. Does this one match <laughs> this one? And so, on. but it, so it's the business of women. Mm-hmm. Sometimes when I want to go out, she will determine her own clothes, what she wants to wear, and tell, she will not tell me the, the one I should wear to be able to, <laughs> yes. to maybe to match her own, own up, so that yeah. I will not wear color riot. Yes, <laughs> this and that. Yeah. So mm-hmm. that's about about that. It's a matter of you using the ta- tapping into the talent in your wife. In your wife, yes. Concede to her mm-hmm. where she is better than you. Mm-hmm. So that things will work out work better. Work out better, yeah. Okay, let's talk about abuse in marriage, but more about emotional abuse because I feel like physical abuse is something that everybody you can spot it and you can address it. So mm-hmm. it's either you choose to receive the abuse or you go. But emotional abuse is more technical. It's not really easy to spot. Mm-hmm. I think sometimes something I'll say is better felt than. Mm-hmm. 
than seen. I don't know okay. how to. Say. Yeah. Okay. So how how do people handle emotional abuse in a in a home? Okay. When you're talking about emotional abuse, mm. of course you know what is emotion: yeah. love, hate, anger, bitterness, and so on and so forth. Yes. In fact, do you know that emotional abuse is more dangerous than physical abuse? Yes. Very dangerous. Mm-hmm. Because somebody can commit suicide. It's true. And you won't know what caused it. It's true. So when it comes to emotional abuse, when you are starting, during, during courtship, you can actually start to work on people's emotion. Mm. Because if you know the kind of person you are getting into marriage with, you will be able to determine whether you will go into that kind of emotional abuse in along the along the line. Mm. Let's let's uh, take something like the man fences you and doesn't even communicate with you anymore mm. because you offended uh, him yes. and he doesn't even want to tell you that you have committed an offense. Yes, yes. He's putting up attitude that mm-hmm. you don't even know where it is coming from. from. It does not just come overnight. Mm. So. When, when you are during the courtship, it is possible for you to determine. That's why I say sometimes you have to step on the toes of your partner deliberately mm-hmm. and see how he handles anger. Yeah. See how he handles joy. Emotional abuse is something that one has to nip it in the bud because it's mm-hmm. psychological. Yeah. And the person has to open up to counseling. Yes. If they don't open up, that's when it becomes more and more. But if you open up, because you have to determine what kind of emotion. I told you that mm-hmm. there are various kinds of emotion. Yeah. I said love is emotion, hate mm-hmm. is emotion, anger is emotion, jealousy is emotion. Mm-hmm. Uh, many of them d- different kinds of emotion. So if, if you are able to determine the kind of emotion, you will be able to advise the person okay. on how to handle that kind of uh, emotion. Yeah. But ultimately, what people do is that if your husband is not showing you love anymore, if your husband is no longer communicating with you, that's what some people now normally go and hide if they have children. Mm. You start transferring the love for your husband to your to children, your children. Yeah. at least to fill up that gap. Mm. Then you make do with what you have. Mm. Instead of uh, going to lament, you now yeah. gather the children around you. Yeah. And then another thing is keeping yourself busy. Yeah. Because... When you talk about emotion, you are talking about the soul. You are not talking about spirit. You are not talking about the body. You are talking mm. about emotion, that, which is mind in the realm of the soul, because the soul is the seat of the mind, yeah. and the mind is made up of uh, intellect, emotion, and will. Yeah. So when it comes to that, you can replace that emotion with something else. Yeah. If you keep yourself busy, you don't even have time to think about the man's yeah. offense or the, whether the man looks at you or doesn't look at you. you. Yeah. He no longer determines when I make my hair or mm. not. So those things will become mundane and minor yeah. because you are occupying that. You are doing something else that you you love so much, so much that can take true. your time and then remove your mind mind from that. Mm. So if you can if you can channel if you can remove your mind and channel it, you won't have an emotional problem. Mm. And then the man will think he's getting at you. He won't get at you, get at you anymore. Again, yeah. But if she knows or if he knows that. Uh, if I do this, my wife will react in this uh, way. Then or she'll be it, sad. it will not be a, a, a trump card. <laughs> <laughs> you can play. Ammunition. <laughs> Ammunition. Okay, but what, what, what can someone do if their partner is unwilling to change, is unwilling to compromise? This is who I am and that is fine now. How do you manage such person? Like I said, you, you don't try to change anybody. Mm, yeah. Like I said, it's only the word of God that can change an adult. It's true, it's true. People rarely change. Any person you knew at the age of 22, after 21, mm. if you knew him at the age of 22, if you see him at the f- age of 40, he is still the same, same person. person. It's true. Unless if he has maybe has become born himself. again and yeah. worked on himself and changed. Otherwise, he's still the same person. So, <clears throat> naturally, in marriage, you don't talk about changing your partner. If you try to change the person, you have problems. So, He wrote a book, he's the author of this book, it's called Understanding Marriage. And here he discussed so many things about marriage that you really need to go and read. Like if you, see, you can even skip this video and read this book and you understand better because here he gave so many details about so many concepts that, you know, people are confused about or people are, you know, or people need more information about, okay? So I'm going to leave the link in the description box and details of how you can get this book. If you want the hard copy or if you want the soft copy, all the details will be in the description box, okay?